Hi there guys, welcome back to another Iron Core 1 or Iron Core 9 channel uh, for Train to Game. It was probably like two weeks ago when I last made my video, was it correct? If you're keeping up to date, ooh, are you not? Uh... Right and guys, as the title suggests, today's video is going to be about a hints and tips video. Obviously, as a student, you need, I believe, Oh, I personally believe it. there's no such thing as never having enough knowledge. Obviously, in the game industry, you've got to be, I don't know, you've got to be willing to adapt and willing to change. And I really think if you're going to be a student, you've got to be willing to keep up with the standards. So what I'll be doing is just giving you little, you know, little hints and tips. If you frequent or if you're watching my videos, hopefully this may help you in your, your studies ahead. So let's get cracking. This, I'm actually going to be professional today. I don't normally write notes down, but there's quite a few things I want to mention today. So... Right then, if you don't know this already, there's a guy called Indigo White on the Train to Game forum. He's a student moderator and I'll tell you something, he's fantastic. He, he, and the reason why I'm saying he's such a great guy is because he makes YouTube videos just like me, but are much more informal. And this is, you know, he's, he's the kind of one who's made me inspired to do this kind of video today because he really does give that kind of excellent knowledge to you and really shares and uh, expands to you. So if you have, if you, okay, I say this all the time, all the time, all the time. Go on the Train to Game forum. Why? Do I really need to explain myself? Train to Game is about having a life, yeah? Uh, doing your own thing, doing all, all expectations, you've got a family. You can't go on it that week. It's called This Week with Train to Game. It makes basically a little um, a snippet, a five minute, oh, let's have a look here. Oh, this is a 14 minute snippet, so it's quite really informal. What all he does is he explains what's like the most talked about topics and what really people should know about on the forum. There's a video right there. There should be a video playing right there, I think. If I'm clever, I'll put it there. Please subscribe to him because he does put a lot of effort into his videos and he's a fantastic guy, so please, come on. Anyway, so check him out. Right, video right there. Check him. Yeah. Okay. Enough, enough about him. Okay. Sorry, Indigo. Yeah, you've had your time. <laughs> As I said before, knowledge is power, key, and you know what? Fucking awesome. Sorry, I just swore. But I probably covered it up with a show you can anyway. Print game, they cover coding, C++ and all that quite a bit, I'm going to be honest with you. Designing, QA courses. But there's a few things Train to Game don't cover because it's not essential in the game industry. But these are things I recommend you checking out anyway in your spare time. There's a guy called uh, The New Boston. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's a fantastic tutorial guy. I cannot. I can just sit up for hours and watch his videos. He'll teach you anything you need to know in like computer basis, like I don't know, so JavaScript, XHTML, CSS, which I'm currently learning. I've learned all them by him. Thank you, Bucky. All you want really in computers, and they're completely, completely free online. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Do you like that one? Yeah. Check out his videos. I really do give it recommend. Subscribe to him as well. He's really good. The fact that he's making time to make these videos is unbelievable in my, you know, my mind. Okay, you've had your time as well. Okay. This is something what gets asked quite a bit, or I personally ask myself as well, uh, about game engines. Game engines. Game engines. Game engines. There's so many to pick from. There's Game Bio. There's Unity, there's Unreal. Train to Game should have already given you uh, a Game Maker engine called Game Maker 7. If you've not got that, you'll be getting it later on because I got it I, I got it when I was in lesson 17, I believe. But there's something I want to talk about. There's something called Unity. If you don't know what Unity is, it's a, a fantastic application. Or not application, it's a fantastic engine. Engine. <laughs> is that it's great for you know ind independent development and the, the studio, oh, I've just joined, Horizon Studio. Oh yeah, joined a team. Check out the website, the website's below. Check them, because I'm on there. Yeah, Unity's a great little engine because the reason being, it's got pre-visualization, it supports JavaScript. If you go into the new Boston, he teaches you how to use, you know, JavaScript if you want to do scripting languages. The Unity engine, I really recommend it because it's fantastic and the Unreal, obviously, but check out the Unity one because I personally think that's the best one for independent development, which I'm going to send you a link to. There's a link right below to get the Unity engine and to get the tutorials. The guys who do the tutorials are called 3D Buzz. They're fantastic. They're really funny to listen to. By the way, all the links I'll be sending you yeah, are tutorial people who are funny because I cannot stand listening to people going, okay, we're going to be rendering a screen. Hmm, stay very still. What we're going to do now is put statement box right here and here. Mm. That really just bore me, I'm sorry. But no, I really want live action people talking to me. Right, okay. I put a video out two weeks ago asking people questions for the video. This is actually one of them. They wanted more feedback and what more, you know, more questions. Uh, to answer Thunderball's question, uh, yeah, he's a big forum user, he really likes my videos. He said that I should really, on the designer course, I should really mention all the materials. At minute, I'm not at the point to say I could fully like give that information, reason being, is because I'm only halfway through the course. Probably give me like another six months, seven months time, and then we'll get there. How's that, yeah? Does that answer your question, Thunder? Yeah? Uh, we still cool? Sorry, I've delayed your question. But I can't, because it's, I'm only halfway. I can't, I can't lie to you. I don't want to lie to you. Right, money. Money, 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 money. 
It's all about the money. It's all about dum 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 dum. But some think it's funny in the end. Come on. Right. Okay. I get quite a, quite a few questions on the on my Encore One video, the introduction to Train to Game, my first video for Train to Game, saying that five. Okay. I probably didn't mention this, but five. The course costs five thousand uh, pound for the art. Uh, the coding and the designer, but it costs £3,100 for the QA course. I didn't mention that in the video because it's a new course, so forgive me. That's the only difference. That's in your mind. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I get so many questions that, oh, oh my god, um, five five grand for a course? Come on, seriously. If you don't know, if, you, if you've not been following the government recently, come on. Five grand, what is five grand compared to like what? Is it now? 27 grand? Five grand, 27 grand, you do the math. Okay, I know people go to university, I'm not dissing university, I've never dissed it because my girlfriend just finished her master's degree in reporting. But this is what online learning is about. It's about doing your spare time, doing it in certain circumstances. And this is what it's about. I'm, I'm not going to be, I don't want to lie to you guys. I get sick of people saying to me on the um, on my videos, or oh, uh, are, you, are you an actor? Yes, I am an actor, just to let you bloody know. I've told, if you didn't know this, I've been in TV programs, I've done this, that, and other. And people say, oh, he's getting paid. Nah, haha, -ha. I'm not getting paid. Nana skit kapush. I'm not getting paid anything from Train to Game. I'm doing this all out of free will for you guys. And if you really can't appreciate that, then you can get West, in my opinion. I know there's people who really would appreciate my feedback in that sense. But I'm a really down to earth guy, you probably not noticed, but I, I really am, I'll, I'll do my best for you. I make videos, bloody hell, and I, I do 13 hour days now at work. How the hell am I even making time for this video? I don't know. Well anyway, I think that's it guys from me, that's all I can really think about at the minute. If you've got any questions, I really want these questions flying at me, I want them left, right and centre. I want them punching me, literally punching me right in the kisser. What do you want me to talk about? I will be making these, I can't make them weekly, because I'm very busy, now I've joined Horizon Studios. The great team, I'm busy making one of certain games I can't really talk about, you know what I mean? But I'll keep you updated, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're watching the videos, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See some progress, and we'll show you what Train to Game can really offer, yeah? Anyway, guys, peace, love, and all that poop. I'm gonna get myself off. Thank you for watching this video. If you wanna subscribe, then awesome. Uh, there's some videos right there of my previous ones, please check them out. If not, until then, look after yourself, and if you're a fellow, if you're already a student in Trinity Game, work hard and dream strong. Anyway, peace out, bitches. Right, I can chill out now. Chill out, bitches. I, I really need to. I, I really can't do that anymore. I'm getting old. 22, Johnny. Come on. You're recovering from a trauma. Ugh.